Here it is from the Gateway Pundit. 1.1 million chickens to be killed at Iowa Egg Farm due to bird flu infection. Well, folks, if you've been following me for a while, uh, this to me is just kind of par for the course. Now, look, bird flu is a serious thing. In fact, Iowa, the article does go on to say that uh, Iowa has been hit pretty hard. Apparently, just this year alone, they've had 13.3 million uh, chickens they needed to be destroyed uh, this year alone just because this you know, illness is that contagious. Okay, I get that. But the one thing I do want to point out, and I, I pointed this, this out before, and this is a really interesting uh, factual tidbit, that um, in the last year and a half, you've had over a hundred uh, food processing plants destroyed. This is, this is uncalled for. I mean, I've got a list here of just exactly what happened to all these different food plants just in the United States. And actually, this is becoming a, a global phenomenon as well. Got a map, wonderful map of all the places that these incidences have happened. So look, you kind of get to a point where it's like, what are the odds of this, this sort of thing happening? Well, <laughs> really, the odds in natural circumstances are pretty slim, if you ask me. And, and it's not even that I'm saying that the, this uh, one with the, with the bird flu was even done on, on purpose, but this is a serious problem. And of course, what comes to my mind is Jesus again, talking about end times. He talks about famines. These are signs of the times that we're living in. And really, that's the point that I want to bring uh, to your attention. Now, did when I read those verses over the last you know years, decades, about there being famines on earth, did I think they would ever be man-made? No, I never thought that. In fact, what was, I think two years ago, we heard about in Egypt and over in the Middle East, they were having serious problems with locusts. I mean, these are the kinds of things that we always read about in the Bible. But is it possible that even the government would be doing things to try to put a, put a hurt on the food supply? Uh, just to put the squeeze on Americans and, and try and get control. It's possible. I'm not saying that. I don't even want to go there because of this whole platform. Folks, the Bible talks many times about these sorts of things uh, being the signs of the end. And look, it's going to get worse, no doubt. I mean, you know, the Bible talks about how, it, you know, there's the world will never see a time like this ever and ever again. and and it's going to get worse, but as Christians, our job more than anything is to put our faith in Christ, that he is the one that is going to take care of us in the end. And hopefully sooner than later, uh, you know, we will, we will see him face to face. And that, you know, that at the end of the day, that's where we need to be putting our hope. Folks, that's my word today. I, look, I know some of this news stuff can seem a, a, a little bit grim, <laughs> a little bit down, but really all this does for me is it gets me more excited because it just tells me, you know what? Jesus is coming soon. So therefore, if we've got our house in order, well then what do we care? We're gonna be with him really soon. So if anything, please let this be your takeaway for today. So that's it. If you like this one, please pass it on. Please like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And look, I hope to see you guys next time.